Hey guys, what's up? It's Baina. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing Christmas. I am going to show you two DIY projects that I'm working on for my tree. I'm so excited. The video is sponsored by Krylon. I have done a couple of projects with them this year and including this one right here, which is this Cubist sculpture that I made that I really kind of just love, honestly. So I feel like I've kind of shocked myself with my ability to do DIYs. So this video is no different. I am going to be decorating a tree. My friend is coming to visit for Christmas. I'm really invested in this apartment. I like where we are going design wise. And so I want to make something special as opposed to just going out and buying a whole bunch of stuff and then getting rid of it at the end of the season. So I am starting with these. I picked these up recently. I've got two packs of them and I couldn't resist because the color scheme of these ornaments is like my entire apartment. Okay, I know that's like different, but y'all know. I'll insert some pictures of my apartment. I just felt like these were such a unique color palette and a really great starting point um, for me to add my own twist on ornaments by doing the DIY. But I like this is like one of the base colors of the ornaments on the tree. We're gonna be working with today these plain ornaments that you could get at any craft store. I actually, happen to see them at a local thrift store. In design, when you're putting together a living room, you're combining shapes, you're combining textures. So it's nice to introduce this new shape to the tree. And they're plain, so we're gonna transform these using the Krylon spray paint. Now, I've got eight of those, and for some reason, one of them came filled with this iridescent glitter, and I originally thought, okay, maybe I, this is, there's more glitter inside, and then you use it for the other ones, but. I, doesn't appear to be a lot of extra inside. Um, but the color is actually a pretty addition when you're looking at this whole collection. So that tells me that the ornaments that I want to DIY need to have some element of shine or iridescence to them. So I decided that I wanted to do a mercury glass look for the ornaments. And the first thing that I did was build a really simple ornament stand by poking some screws through a cardboard box that I already had. In order to get the mercury glass finish look, you actually need to start with a mix of vinegar and water, about equal parts. So I had some already in a spray bottle. Um, you're going to wanna to be working with the inside of the ornament only. That's how you get the mercury glass look. So we're gonna be using Krylon looking glass spray paint and I like the fact that all of the paint goes on the inside of the ornament. You can wipe off the outside and everything's contained inside. dry for a while I came back and looked at them and I decided I wanted to add a little bit of looking glass spray paint to any of the parts that kind of need a little bit more coverage but I quickly noticed that um, it was a very cool gray very very pretty but it was more on the silver side and I wanted something a little bit warmer so I decided to go with the Krylon metallic gold spray paint to add a little bit more dimension and warmth and I thought the gold would actually go nicely with the yellow tones in my gold sofa in my living room, some of the warmer tones in the space. I also wanna note that the metallic gold spray paint is a paint and primer all in one. So it has a high level of adhesion. I didn't have to use a ton of the gold in order for it to shine through and warm everything up. Here's a look at the finished ornaments. I think they actually turned out beautiful. I love how uneven the finish is. I mean, that's the whole look, what makes it so rich. And I think adding a little bit of the gold really ties nicely with the existing color palette. It also ties into the warm colors in the gold sofa and the floor that I have going on in my living room. And I also like how the mercury glass 
ties to the chrome of the coffee table. I think it's super pretty, really original, wasn't that hard, and adds another dimension to my Christmas tree. Um, you always want to kind of decorate in odd numbers, so I kind of wanted to add one more style of ornament to the mix. So I went to the local thrift store and I found six more plain globe ornaments and I decided to use Krylon frosted glass spray paint just to keep it really minimal and elegant. And this was pretty easy. There's only one step. I just flipped everything upside down and sprayed the bottom of the ornaments with two coats of the frosted glass. Took about 10, 15 minutes to dry and brought them up. And the final result is super elegant, I feel. So here's a look at the finished result of the frosted glass ornament. I actually think it looks really beautiful and simple as is. I did actually consider putting glitter inside or doing some kind of a glitter, but then when I looked at the combination of each style of ornament, I felt like it was perfect as is. You know, sometimes less is actually more. And I'm always talking about the importance of having like at least five textures in every room. So if we even just look at this project, we have like a translucent matte ornament, then we have like a solid opaque shiny one, and then we have something a little bit in the middle with the mercury glass. So I feel like it was a successful project. Thank you so much Krylon for supporting me in this video and also just for pushing me as a creative person to use something humble like spray paint and then still be able to create elegant, um, unique solutions that really fit my home. I also found this wrapping paper when I went to the thrift store as well, and I feel like it totally fits in with this rustic art deco vibe that I am creating here in my home. And if you just remember my old apartment in LA, everything was super white. And I think at that point in my design life, I was actually more of braid of color. So I'm really embracing this new expression of my style. And I encourage you guys to do it yourselves to curate your own holiday this year. Um, when I start decorating the tree, I will absolutely make a video to show you kind of the finished result. We're gonna be adding lights and maybe some extra textiles, but I'm just absolutely in love with what we've created here and can't wait to share that with you in a future video. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will definitely link all of the products used for this video in the description box below. Talk to you later, bye.